Hey guys, I'm Janet on occasion, and today we are carrying on with our Oleg, the Everchosen campaign. And we have a couple of very powerful armies uh, headed towards uh, the dwarfs. Uh, sadly, we weren't able to save the Skaven, but hey, if, if they died, then they clearly weren't worthy. Alright, it's that simple. It's that simple. We're going by chaos rules here. You know, it's it's not it's not a trap. See, they're just scaven. You know, it, it's fine. They clearly weren't worthy. They were they were meant to be killed. Chaos gods willed it. So um, yeah, we're gonna head over here with Oleg. Probably take out this faction. Uh, then I'm gonna threaten Scarbrand into submission. We're gonna see if that works. I hope it works. And then I guess we're gonna kill some undead. Um, but basically, we're just gonna move along this coast uh, the whole way across. And hopefully get into Kislev, who I think is doing better, though Prague is gone. So I don't quite know. Yeah, I think there's some undead. I think there's an undead party. Is that right? Oh, well, they summoned a rat. They, they spawned around Prague. That's why we can see it, right? So that makes sense. Um, but we can see that, like, Bolgas Grad is still in the hands of the Ice Court. Uh, Clan uh, Dorasgrund. Did they spawn here, did they? I guess they did. And Silver Pinnacle, that would have been a bunch of undead. So a lot of these a lot of these invasions are just fighting each other, I think. Possibly. Either way, it's going to be a bit of a mess uh, when we finally get to the Empire. You know? But uh, I think it's going to be interesting. So, Hellspire Camp. You know, I guess we're just doing Beast Flayer Lodge. I don't think we have different... I guess we do kind of have different recruitment options. Okay, over here, I'm going to get a new Chaos Lord. Uh, could go a lot of Slanesh for this one as well, so we can get another Slanesh-themed army. So we can just have a couple of Slaneshes running around together. Does that sound good? Does that sound good? Maybe. Maybe. I'm trying to think what mounts Slanesh troops get. It's nothing particularly fancy, is it? But we'll probably just Demon Lord that guy. So, Mentash Troll Tooth is here. Uh, now let's get a Chaos Sorcerer. Uh, what bits with Slanesh? Shadows, I suppose? I mean, this guy's got Splendor, which which sounds correct. You know, that'll do. Uh, oh, you're the one with the levels. Okay. See, so, yeah, I want the second army because I want to be able to kill the elves. All right, we need to we need to get them. Now, let's see. We've got some aspiring champions. I mean, we'll just get everything, won't we? Get all the things. Everything we can get, at least. And then we'll change all these to Hell Scourges. And we'll go back up uh, Garrulous Algae Buncher. <laughs> I forgot to change his name. It's a great name. Okay, we also have Fire. Can you go? He can go Slanesh as well. I think they all can. It's worth checking, though. And God, we really need more equipment. We really do. We have very little equipment. All right, I think everything's done then. Uh, this is telling me there's new stuff, but it always seems to tell me there's new stuff, and I never see what the hell it's trying to tell me to check. Uh, you guys sit tight. I need a turn of replenishment, at least. Um, and then we'll start scurrying up here in, in camp stance. And I think that'll work out quite well. Uh, Edgild is trying to get us to join a war. I'm going to say yes, though I might see if I can get more money out of him. A little bit more, a little bit more favour. I'll accept. I'm gonna backstab this guy in a minute, so you know. We don't need to be um, seen as reliable. We just, we just don't. You know, we're already a traitor. Turned with power. You know, Oleg was uh, was the golden boy of Kislev. <laughs> Not to be that's confused, the Golden Knight. Happy. That's a different. That's a different one. Maybe that's what upset him so much. He didn't get to be Golden Knight. Uh, Clan Grutnik has been destroyed. Not Clan Grutnik. Oh no, those were my favourite. Lime and Sister had gone too. And Vultures. That's a great name. The Vultures. Vultures have been obliterated. That um, makes me think of that um, Cruel Boys. Like Vulture Mount. That was really cool. I like that thing. I think that would really fit in well as a... Um, like really well as like a Savage Orc Mount. For Warhammer Fantasy. To the point where if I ever make a um, 
Savage Orgami, which is doubtful. I think Savage Orc models are a bit rubbish. I don't like them that much. They're a bit, they're a bit silly looking, but then uh, not not in the silly way that I like. I like old models. I really like old models. The old Warhammer ones. They have a great aesthetic, but yeah, that seems to be in this weird middle ground where they're sort of a bit goofy, but you can tell they were trying. <laughs> that concerns me. Um, yeah, I don't know. They're not. They're not my cup of tea. All right, we still don't have any money. Um, all right, he's headed in over here. That got destroyed. Was that the Sisters of Twilight? Did these guys... Did he kill the Sisters of Twilight? Yeah, I think he might have done. Because I don't see him anywhere. All right, go for them instead. And if you're coming in here as well... Man, you know what? These guys are doing okay. How could I? Uh, I am going to try. An impossible path. Are they in... Oh, they're in camp stance. Okay, so they can reach fairly far this way. So we might get spotted. If we get attacked, we may have to fight. But we might be okay, maybe. If we get attacked, we can turtle a bit. They'll wait for reinforcements before they march on us. We have a couple of shaggers to take out. Um, Treeman. It's really just the archers I have to worry about, I think. So I think we just focus on the archers with hell cannons. And maybe we'll be fine. Perhaps. Oh, for God's sake. Why can't I ever click on anything anymore? Alright, here we go. Um, let's move you around here. We'll, we'll head you this way. They're still earning quite a bit of money with that extra army. Though that extra army isn't exactly costing us much. Um, where the hell am I? I've gone too far. Here we go. This is who I was trying to find. I just don't know this terrain well. It all looks the same. Which is part of its charm, to be honest. I kind of I kind of like it. There's just all mountains and tundra and... You know, it's really easy to get lost. It feels very thematic. So yeah, we'll send Oleg over here. I think we can... Um, we can sort this all out pretty quickly. It really is just... This chaos blob in the middle. But, I mean, there is a chance we can make him a vassal. I mean, ideally, I want it to be around 10 if I'm going to threaten him. But if I can get rid of this stuff and have a bunch of armies nearby, maybe that has an effect? I'm not actually sure. It's one of those things, I don't really want to look it up. You know, I don't want to look up the exact mechanics of it, because that would ruin the story. Um, to me, it feels like I can put a more threatening stance on, and then the, the side effect of that is that I am better prepared to fight them if they do like, fail to accept our threats and declare war on us, right? So it's it's good regardless, but, um, you know, I can't help but wonder, I guess, is the problem. You know, but I don't want to know. But I also can't help but wonder. If I stumble upon the answer by playing, then I'm happy with that, you know? Learning it through experience. Or vibe. Something. You know, holistically. Oh, they saw us, and Christ, that is a lot of Dryads and Glade Guard. All right, I'm going to retreat, and hopefully not all of them will be able to reach. Okay, good, they couldn't reach. You. Uh, highly devoted in the Wormkin lair. Uh, population surplus and legions of the Wormkins, that sounds nice. Or favoured fortresses? Slows down our army, but we get more favour. Ooh. It's a tough one. I don't really want to slow down my army, but extra favour would be nice. A specific region belonging to Wormkins is showing great devotion. Such unholy faith be wielded to further your own ends. Uh, it says faction-wide as well, which is nice. But I think we give them a population surplus and, and think we'll let them flourish. I'm sure this region is given all these to prosper. Oh, okay. Hi. Okay, so I had a comment the other day. Because uh, the Vermintide, apparently the reason Clan Mange didn't have stuff trigger is apparently there's two events that need to trigger. I didn't know they were on a timer, I just assumed one failed. Maybe one did fail and now it's just decided to kick in, I'm not really sure. But here's another Vermintide. Uh, I guess the first um, event did basically say, oh, that's weird, Skaven are being strange. Oh, Skaven. So I guess maybe it is supposed to be a two-ten, like a two-event thing rather than just like 
I assumed it was just like two scripts had to proc. Like, it, one script didn't have the, <laughs> like, enough space for all of the game and factions. I had to have to split it to two or something. I, I thought it was some technical thing. But no, it seems to be a narrative thing. Um, so that's fun. Anyway, uh, the treacherous schemes are finally revealed. Fearing the wrath of the horned rat, the violent conflict of the clans has been redirected towards the surface dwellers. Great armies of ratkin are infesting the Under Empire, spreading plague and ruin to the unfortunate cities above. Die, die, all things. It begins. Uh, so, does that mean Clan Mage is back? No. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, well, I guess that guy was wrong. Uh, no, Clan Mage didn't get an army, because they don't get armies, apparently. Um, but that's fine. So, that means there should be... Yeah, here we go. Wow, that's a lot. You know what? I feel like... Oh, there's um, not as many over here, weirdly. Um, yeah, I feel like the Skaven are uh, getting a very good um, start here, though I'm failing to really find many of them. Uh, I mean, the Skaven Blight's still going, so that's going to be quite scary. And yeah, Clan Eshin over here. The council is disappointed. Yeah, okay, I feel like the Skaven are going to do quite well. Oh, yeah, Clan Pestilence start over here, don't they? In uh, Massive Orkle. That's fun. There's, all of this is the mountain range, by the way. Really cool. Really love it on this map. Uh, anything else? Okay, I'm sad to see they don't, like, trigger, like, Mordheim. Or somewhere, you know? I feel like there should be some Skaven in the Empire. But apparently not. Uh, there will be a bunch in Hell Pit as well. So that's good too. But yeah. Interesting. But no Clan Mange. No Clan Mange. Oh, we found the Scissor Twilight. They're ambushing. Where the hell am I? Here we go. Alright, there we go. I forbid this Ooh. dance. Ooh, did they get. Old What's His Face? Maybe. Yeah, where were this? Is the twilight? Oh, they were up here. Interesting. Okay, I think the puppets of Misrule got completely crushed. Wow. Okay. You know what? Elves suddenly turning things around. I'm glad I got this extra army. To be fair. Flipping heck. Uh. All right. Let's get more whatevers. Quite a lot of whatevers. Um, could get into the hell cannon this army too. That'd be pretty cool. We actually have a bunch of um, Slaneshi stuff we could grab actually. Right, and our regiments are now. We have the Sibilant Slaughtercade. We have the Marquis of Masochism. And I guess the Mirror Guard as well. But uh, Mirror Guard feel a bit uh, weird to have when we don't have. Sigvold, but, um, you know. They can all be vain. It's not a problem. But yeah, I could I could go ahead and grab a couple of these. Kind of feel like we want them in the main Legend army, though. Have we got a couple of... Yeah, we've got some pretty big stuff there, so maybe we do just go ahead and get this lad. It's going to cost us a lot, though. I kind of want to give all these guys the mark before I do anything else. So, let's start upgrading. Okay, Hell Scourges, Hell Scourges, Hell Scourges, Hell Scourges, Hell Scourges, Hell Scourges, Hell Scourges. Done. And you lot can all be Horsemen of Slanesh. Good. And uh, you guys can't be uh, Slaneshy Trolls, sadly. Just imagine these trolls in a bikini, you know? That's how troll hags happen. <laughs> All right, good. Much better. And now we don't have money for... Ooh, actually... Could get more Marauders. Probably not worthwhile, though, is it? Probably not. I really wish we had a bunch of Chaos um, Knights. A bunch of Knights of Slanesh would be great here. But yeah, let's... Um, let's ambush with him. Boy, 
Well, we found an ambush. So, interestingly, if they're trying to ambush us, but they have failed, because we spotted them in intercepting, it's just going to be a battle between these two, which is actually pretty good. Um, so I guess we fight it. Hell Cannon should be able to kill a lot of the Glade Guard pretty effectively. I'm a little worried about the Dryad against our front line, but I think the Forsaken should be able to do quite well against them. Now, we do have Law of Fire, but no interesting spells yet. We've just got a Fireball. Oh, we do have Porticlip. But only on our heroes. No, only on our sorcerers. Is that right? Was it Porticliff just on sorcerers? Perhaps it was. I don't know. Anyway, let's um Let's fight it. Thank God we succeed in our dice roll though. Does it have to be this dark? Just I hate when the map's this dark. Like I wanna be able to see. The difficulty shouldn't be but like, difficulty of the game should be can you see or not? <laughs> Ah, so annoying. All right, let's get you guys out in front. You are going to get shot to bits. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. Not sorry at all. Okay, then we have our Marauders of Sladash. We're going to hide in the trees. And you. You're going to hide in the trees too. All right. And uh, shall I hide our shaggots in the trees? Can they? No. No, they can't hide in trees. Too big. Too big. Which, you know, is understandable. Uh, and we have our aspiring champions. Right, let's just embed them in here. So they'll end up in melee, but they can, um, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the missiles will sort of get soaked up, right? Let's just keep them back here, actually. All right, well, I guess that'll have to do. Ooh, I hope these guys don't spot us. They might. They actually might. That would be a problem. But, uh, yeah, these guys can start shooting whenever. I am going to have them go for the archers in a second. Oh, let's put them all on um, guard mode. And, yeah, and them. Okay, good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Don't get spotted. Oh, I need Terminal Fire at will. Or else they will... They will go for them. Oh. They haven't seen us yet. But they are coming for us. Somehow. Although these guys are taking mad punishment. All right, fire at will. Just move you up and around. Okay, these guys are taking huge damage. All right, all you guys need. Ooh. Skirmish mode, huh? Alright, stop being on skirmish mode because it literally just gets you killed. Okay, stop it. Okay, you go for them. And you know what? Yeah, Shaggots can just start charging in, okay? You guys too. Oh, into them. They're going to get very hurt. And right, they're going to kill quite quickly. Charge into the next lot, please. I'm right, getting some good damage into all these jerks. Ooh, don't let the damage are taken over here. Alright, let's go for those guys, because they have full health. Uh, Portaglyph, very useful. Let's get some flying units over here. Okay, let's chase these jerks down. Alright, we're breaking through these guys. They're running. Alright, they're taking big damage, which is great to see. 
Alright, go for these dryads instead. If you can stay in the fight. Nope, you're running and you're running into the enemy. Perfect. That's what I love to see. Love to see it. And oh no. Alright, go get him. Go get him, boys. And you guys can come back this way. Perfect. Alright, this is all very busy. Alright, go for them. Uh, those are Dryad still. You go for them. Ah, you guys can run back this way. Uh, you know what? Shoot these jerks instead. Alright, shoot them. Okay, nice recharge into that lot. Alright, Shaggard's doing okay over here. Alright, let's try and kill their lord. That's going to be useful. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have this. Fairly comfortably, too. <laughs> forsaken are very hurt. It's almost like they've been forsaken. Uh, however... Doing some great damage over here. Right, let's get the Shaggis moving. So the thing with Glade Guard, right, that is uh, annoying but works in our favour here, is they can shoot while moving, but they can only shoot while moving forwards. So as long as we're chasing them, you know, as long as we're chasing them, they shouldn't be able to shoot us. Okay, good. So 114, 150, yeah, 90. We got great kills with these guys. And we did a lot of extra damage too. Okay. Well, feels pretty good. Let's try and get some more hits into them. Alright, that's good. Still blasting away. Alright, their lord's dead. Let's carry on. Alright, we did well. Uh, let's sacrifice the captives. I'm not sure that 100 experience is really going to make much difference. Offer their screens to the prince of pleasure. We are very fortunate. Very fortunate that we spotted the ambush. Futile. How could I? Hmm. Do I chase him down? Maybe? The thing is, I do need replenishment. You know? Take your pleasures. So I think we just sit tight here. We'll get some bonuses. Uh, we can still run away and there's a chance we can have this guy ambush the first army that tries to attack him. Which I think will work out quite well for us. Uh, we also just got uh, Grooksataf Sos Death Dealer has unlocked his boons. And a Chaos Dude. So let's see what you got. Oh, he didn't get a Path to Glory. I thought he did. Uh, we can get... Kindle Flame, then let's get Burning Head. And Flame Sword of Ruin. So we can give everyone in our front line flaming attacks, which really help against armies of Dryads. And we can also use Burning Head just to burn them all down. Very, very handy. And also we can have a Shrieking Blade so we can cause terror, I guess. And a Beguiling Gem so we can lower enemy speed. And a Ruby Ring of Ruin so he has more fire. Well, he can't have both of those things. So Beguiling Gem it is. And, um... Scroll of Aramar, just to you know, blow a leadership Thanks. on someone, maybe start a train route, I don't know. Give him something. I feel like he needs something. Um, Vigor, I think, is also a important. True gift of okay, good. Uh, so yeah, all new guys are still very low rank, sadly. Anything else I can get here? Not really. Not really. Our Forsaken is so injured. We're probably going to lose our Forsaken, which is a shame, because I like them. The I enjoy them. I also have uh, Chimera on the bloody hand headed for some of these guys, which is interesting. Yeah, I think we can handle the elves. It's just going to take a lot longer than I was expecting. I really thought when we won that siege, that would sort of be the end of them, but we just lost all momentum. They were able to build up. Build up a very stupid army of nothing but Dryads and uh, Glade Guard, but when you have nothing but not. like Marauders, it's not easy to deal with, is it? Not really. Um, okay, you guys. Oh, you're on the way. Cool. Yeah, you keep moving, please. Lovely. Uh, 
Um, yeah, really, really well replenished now. Uzul is getting back on his feet. But yeah, Grombrindle here, he just doesn't have those elite units that he spawned with. He's really missing out on those. Oh boy. Uh, so, do we want to get this guy Slaneshi? I don't think we do. I think we need him to remain fiery for some time. We really do need that. So I'm going to turn this off. And I'm going to leave him as a fire caster uh, forever, I think. I think that's the way we have to go. Uh, do I need a warrior's hall over here? What did I... No oh, I didn't bother getting a, a haunted tower. I guess that makes sense. Uh, let's get the thing that makes vassals earn us more money, because we're surrounded in vassals. Potentially, we can do something similar over here. Nope, we don't have the money. Never mind then. Okay. I think that's the end of the turn. We moved everybody? Yeah. Not that we have that many people, honestly. We could do with more armies. Maybe just sort of transition to a war economy. You know, like just looting and spoiling. Or despoiling. I don't know. Do we spoil or despoil? Both, maybe. Optimus Rule are mobilizing. Discovered some ambushes. A lot of nonsense over here, huh? Man, Sisters of Twilight. Really, really pushing up into our territory here. Hargroth is on it, though. In fact, that army would be pretty damn good for it. The amount of mobility that can just, like, get into all their archers. Eternal Guard for good defense against basically all of this, though, but still. Pretty cool. Hopefully, they'll do all right. Uh, the Ghost of Glamboriel have been destroyed. Uh, Vanna Heimlings are on the move. Mission issued. Ultimate campaign victory. At the start of your turn, have no factions at war with you. What? Final challenge to your supremacy has arisen. Overcome this hurdle. The dominance over the world should be assured. What? Is that... Is that actually the... That's such a hilarious rolling objective. Because what are the chances that no one would be at war with you? Just crush all of your enemies. That's really funny. I love that. Um, I mean, this is going to take some time. That's all we need to do, though. How is it only 28? Does giving a territory to a ally not count? Or have I seriously only done 28 settlements? Feels like I've done so many more. And then occupy, loot, raid, sack, bunch, and uh, destroy the following factions. Which, uh, you can see, we don't have many of those ticked off, but Hockland, Ostend, and Ostermark have all died without us even turning up. Control nine of the following settlements, either through direct ownership uh, or vassals, military allies. We already have done that. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But yeah, need to destroy the Empire. And we need to destroy uh, the the two major Kislev factions. I say the two major, one is a bonus faction, but to me, it's the major faction. So we have this guy moving in too. I kind of need him to continue um, replenishing. So what we're going to do is we're going to move him up. And then we're going to move him up. Alright, because I reckon this can still do a pretty good ambush, you know? I think you can do okay on the ambushing front. Uh, we can get another Hellscorch. So let's do that. More Hellscorches, please. And, um... Yeah. That'll do, probably. Maybe. We'll see. Now, uh, let's see. Uh, this guy. Yeah, we can do some upgrades here. Alright, so let's do the income one first. And Oleg is real close by. So, that'll be a settlement of ours. Yeah, let's see. Nah, he doesn't want to come vassal. I could try threatening him as well. But, yeah, I, I just really want to threaten him. I really want to just just tell Scalbrand that he's my, like, dog now, you know? I think it's just such a power move for a guy who's just anger and vitriol. Just go, no, no, I'm your new boss. 
try me. And for him to go, okay, master, okay. I think it's just, yeah, I, I really want to make it happen. Uh, so these guys, that guy's still got a proper army, but he's a little too far away. So actually, I think we can nab this. And we'll get Grombrindle and him in the fight. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's move you up to here. And, uh, yeah, you can be back. And yeah, I think we go for the settlement, and they can all be uh, reinforcements running towards the settlement, which will make things very difficult for them. Should be fun. So we can give someone extra charge bonus. I think we give that to you. And then the extra armor-piercing damage can go to our Chosen, who are going to do 77 damage with each hit. And there's 80 of them. Oh boy, they're good. They're good. All right, this should be fun. Uh, are you guys seriously, like, how do you not have gold chevrons yet? If these aren't all chosen after this mission, like, after this battle, I'm going to be furious. I really want them all to be chosen. Once they are, there's nothing stopping us. Like, chosen are just too resilient. Nothing's going to slow us down. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's fight it. Okay. This definitely looks like it belongs to us, doesn't it? Not the dwarfs. Nah, uh, definitely one of ours. Uh, and we do have a bloodthirst now, which is very fun. Rawr. Oh, he's real angry. He's real angry. Oh, and we have our demon prince now. Hey, fella. Hi. So, yeah, pretty cool. And we have our, our lad on the manticore. He's trying to keep up. Yeah, it's, it's good for him, you know. But yeah, these three jumping on the walls. It's going to be quite scary for our <laughs> little dwarf and friends. Uh, we also have this guy on the ground. I mean, he's pretty great. With the hounds and, like, everything else. Yeah, some scary stuff. Um, you lot can all go in the other gate. Kind of want you with... Group three, actually. And I'll put you over here with this group. With group two. And you lot. Now go for the walls. Excellent. Alright, group one. Let's get those quarrelers. Group two. That's the wrong group. Group two. Group three. And you guys do whatever the hell you like, because, you know. You're going to kill everything anyway. Or miss everything. That's the other option. So yeah, Korn's bloody fist coming in. He has a quarrel with these guys. Alright, let's go straight for their lord here. Or, let's go for these chumps. And we can soften them up with hell cannons. Uh, so... Enemy reinforcements are coming up behind us, actually. Let's get you lot over here. Alright, all you lot. Gonna line up over here. Brilliant. Alright, looking good. Yeah, breaking through there pretty quick. <laughs> and here they come. Wow, we have... <laughs> we have a lot of company coming, don't we? Oh, dear. Yeah, all this stuff coming in. Christ. Scary, scary stuff. Got a lot of trolls, got hell cannons coming. All right, come on, lad. You just you just sat up there. Come on, let's get you up in the air again. Please don't tell me you're stuck there. Okay, I think he's stuck. I I, I think he might be stuck. Oh, we can use portable up here too. There we go. Please don't tell me you are also stuck. Okay, now we're out. Good. Portable. All right, someone come and bother him, please. Our time has come. 
Come on. Oh. It wasn't quite done. Felt like it was done. Okay, let's try and hit them. Alright, we did miscast, but who cares? Incredible. Yep, keep keep getting them. There's all the things. Uh, oh, let's get some Skaven. Let's summon some Skaven to come fight them. Perfect. Alright, how are you lot doing? So there's a bunch of reinforcements coming over there. Oh, I hadn't used Border Clip yet. So this guy, still stuck. Still stuck. That's so annoying that he's stuck here. Like our bloodthirst is first time out, and he's just like, oh I don't know how to I don't know how to fight actually. I'm a pacifist. <laughs> jerk. Absolute jerk. Alright, you guys, let's get you inside, yeah? Sounds good. Now we need to deal with their ranged units ahead of everyone else, I think. I'm amazed these guys are still going. I mean, they're long beards, but like, come on, lads. You know? Like, let's, let's make it happen. Alright, Dwarf Warriors having a bad day. I mean, all this is just silly. Are we, are we really not done yet here? I mean, come on. Right, let's go Plague on their head. Complete overkill, of course, but... That's funny though. You guys wanna maybe get stuck in? I feel like you could get stuck in if you wanted. Maybe you should get. Oh god, you, did you just miscast that? Can you miscast that? Apparently you can miscast that. Seems silly. Unless it's. Oh, it's the Rune Lord. He causes miscast, doesn't he? It's like his whole thing. Oh, please, come on. Look, they're, just, they're just nipping at your heels. Yeah, you can't even turn around. How about if I tell you to flee? No, nothing. Nothing. God, it's depressing. Alright, shoot shoot them. You might hit the bloodthirster. And that might result in something happening. Might result in results. There's still a lot here. Yeah, we have to get through a lot yet. It would be really good if this guy could do something. He would be really useful. Oh my god, what? Come on. Just, like, have him, yeah? Nerds. Alright, let's get you over here. Alright, let's move you up. Uh, yeah, let's get you over here, too. Yeah, with relish. Alright. Chosen are going to push that way. Chaos Warriors. Gonna loiter over there. They'll probably get very shot, but we'll see. Oh, come on. Please get dislodged. This is so frustrating. So frustrating. Yeah, these guys can do mad work up there, I think. Except that one guy that I did actually want to come over here. Okay, so we actually have a couple of uh, our exalted heroes in here at the moment. These are the Porter Glyph and try and get on top of some quarrelers, perhaps. Alright, here they are. Let's go get them. Ooh, and here's Grom Brindle. He might be a bit of a challenge. Let's run back this way. How are you lot getting on? Seems to be getting on well. You guys too. And you can't move, which is sad. Alright, you lot. Well, the trolls, I guess. 
And you. Oh, you lot. Let's bring you all in. Alright, let's aim for him now. Maybe not you. Maybe you actually go and grab that, please. There's a lot of stuff over here. <laughs> oh god, come on, trolls. In you come. Uh, you go also fight Gavon Brindle, please. Not fight or die on him yet, which makes me sad. Yeah, I'm manning a lot of the walls at the moment. So you lot probably should get in, I suppose. I'll just I'll just throw you over there. Broadly, and we'll see where you end up. See where you end up. Why are you facing that way, guys? Come on. It's absurd. <laughs> Alright, how are we doing? Oh, I can about say, how are we doing on killing Grombrindle? Just as he gets completely butchered. Uh, you guys? A uh, handful of kills. Chosen the Corn actually taking a lot of damage from the enemy quarrelers. Which is a real nuisance, I must say. Real nuisance. Okay, let's get our flyers up in the air. Oh no, our doggos! Get out of there, doggos! Oh, I think we lost our doggos. Alright, we're gonna jump on top of these guys. Oh, they're taking the brunt of it now. Chosen still only oh, 29 kills, 30 kills. Yeah, they're taking a lot of damage on the Gorillas. Not happy about that. You blow your trumpet. You know what? You guys, come, come deal with them. Thanks. Uh, so what else can I do? Blensing Ruin is quite fun. Purple Sun of Zero is pretty cool. Let's use Flensing Ruin. Aha! You're blensed! Take that. On oh, Infernal Gateway? Yes, please. Am I using all of the most expensive spells? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And all right, you can get stuck in as well, mate. Oh, you guys all seem bored. Do you want to? Do you want to go fight some people? I know it cheers you guys up to fight people. All right, how are you not doing? Mine, I guess. Yeah, let's do purple sun there as well. <laughs> right on top of ourselves. As is tradition. Alright, these guys are cutting through pretty well. And hey, lads. Nice of you to show up. Okay, Chosen. Still only 60 kills on the Chosen. I'm kind of disappointed in them. I don't feel like they're getting as many kills as they otherwise should. Uh, you still have a lot of models left. Let's try and keep it that way, okay? Let's try and keep it that way. Ah, there's army losses. There we go. I thought we'd killed enough. I was surprised they were still fighting. But there we go. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. No, I'll just do a little fright and it'll go, yeah? Yeah? Is that how it's gonna go? Just a little fright. A little fright more. And they'll be off. God, look how close they are to breaking. So close. Okay, what can I hit you with? Kind of nothing, actually. I mean, trees and obscene. That'll, that'll scare them away. There we go. God, how are these guys holding on? This is crazy to me, they're holding on. Just minus one leadership. Come on, run. Get out of here. Madness. Absolute madness. Alright, look, this'll do it. Well, it probably won't. I'm not sure this will happen in time. Come on, come on, come on. Trigger, 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 trigger. Trigger. Shazam! Yep, they're outing. Something about getting struck by lightning. Just, I don't know. Rubs people the wrong way, I guess. <laughs> how, how haven't they broken yet? I don't understand. 
Like, you can see army losses triggering. They're just like, oh no, we actually just have slightly higher leadership. Okay, there we go. It's so strange. But yeah, they're gone now. Close victory. Marvellous. So we did lose our corn dogs, which I'm told is a American delicacy. Um, but yeah, other than that, we trounced them. Got a lot of favour too. We can gift it to our vassal. Which yeah, I guess we will, won't we? I guess we probably will. So there's still this guy. Still that guy nearby. Might be, uh, might be a bit of a problem. Might be a bit of a problem. Uh, so we achieved victory over Dwarf Smudge. Oh my god, how are you guys not high enough rank yet? Still need 2,500 experience. How long does it take? It's madness. They're just, they're just refusing to level up out of spite, I swear. Uh, so we've got Trickster's Helm as well. Finally got some more armor. I mean, good ward save. I like that. A dingy battered helmet that looks like any other. But this is the Trickster's Helm, a powerful artifact that protects the wearer. Um, yeah, madness. Absolute madness. Alright, what are we going to give you, huh? Okay, got Rally. Let's get Legion of Doom. And fight or die. And for that, it's humongous. Uh, let's start getting you, you uh, actually training. Should we do training? Uh, oh, unit experience gain is, is just... It's boosted by a percentage now. You know, I didn't even realise that. I didn't even realize they changed that. It used to just be a static amount, but it was a static amount that was pointless. But that's actually way better, just to buff the, um, the percentage you get from it. The amount of bonuses we're getting there, and the fact these guys still haven't leveled up is crazy, though. It's a conspiracy, I tells you. Uh, let's get Doomfire. Let us corrupt. And Blue Scribes. I mean, I do want to get to Scrolls of the Apocalypse, so I do need to just, like, level this stuff up hard, right? Uh, could get Yin and Yang. Dead Magic. I mean, Demon Magic we don't get to play with often. And, and Primal Magic's always funny. So, when he's a seven. The previous group. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All of them then. And apparently just some of these don't matter, for the sake of that. That's a bit weird. Uh, adds blue flame explosions to the blue scribes' attacks. I want that. I want that. I want lots of things. Uzul. What should we get for you, Uzul? Vernal champion? You want to do some more, do some more fighting? Is that what you want to do? You want more scouting? I want more toys. More trinkets, please. Uh, okay, well that was amazing. We have loads of money to spend. So we're going to spend loads of money on things, but we're going to do that next episode, because uh, we're over time again. Fighting dwarves takes time, guys. So anyway, if you're enjoying this, comment, like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. No man, no god, no creature can challenge me and me.